What's up, nerd and nerdettes? It's time for a superpower shorty. This superpower is a splinter off the branch of electricity manipulation and water manipulation. So sit down and get set for electric water manipulation. A shocking ability that could burn you while at the same time drowning you. Users can generate and manipulate water that carries an electric current at all times, sometimes, or both water and electricity simultaneously. This allows a user to cause effects ranging from drowning or causing electric damage to targets. This can also extend and allow a user to create and manipulate storm clouds, as clouds are a mass of water droplets and an electric charge. You can't ask for anything more impossible than that. I mean, really, electric water. Why would you want this? I wouldn't want it, but you know what? This isn't about me. This is for you guys. So if you like an explanation on its symbolization or info on its history and lore, check out my video on its parent superpowers water manipulation, and electricity manipulation. You'll also get to hear my self-analysis of their importance in both world culture and popular culture. The links are in the description. But in exchange for that knowledge, I'm going to ask all of you, water and electric lovers, to hit that like and subscribe button. Definitely not as complicated as trying to understand electric water, but it's a lot more satisfying. But... If you don't care and you think that this water-based electricity isn't as deadly and stupid as it seems, then at least you can hit that share button and, you know, tell others what you did. So I'm not held liable if you uh, try to fight the current and uh, obviously don't win. Now, with the power of electric water manipulation comes the natural ability to attack with, defend with, or control your or other sources of electric water. So stupid with electric water attacks. One of the more beneficial uses for this ability is having the electricity within your water enhance the natural energy found within water, which would grant you the ability to amplify and manipulate the pure energy water contains and produces with water energy manipulation. Because electricity is a secondary energy source and flowing water is considered a primary energy source. This makes sense. And because you have the unholy union of water and electricity all in one, it's possible for you to ionize or supercharge the water in a manner to where it evaporates and condenses, allowing you to create your own cumulonimbus with thundercloud generation. Or you can control yours and mix them in with pre-existing storm clouds with thundercloud manipulation. I want to state that the concept of electric water is completely understood by me, I'm just an idiot who likes to ruin the joke. My only problem is if you don't have the required secondary superpowers needed to not die from this ability, you're going to live a very short, painful and miserable life. If it sounds like I left some things out, it's because most of the applications can be found under its parent superpowers. So if you want more applications on the power, check out my video on water manipulation and electricity manipulation. All you have to do is portray this power in the same way that its parent superpowers are portrayed and you can pretty much accomplish the same things, just with a visual stylistic difference. But I will say this, thinking back over it, this power can be useful, it's just stupid. Electricity and water, why would you? Thanks for watching. You guys the power? Jot it down in the comment section. Start a discuss section. Start a discussion. The index doesn't grow without you. I'll be back with an entirely new power discussion. The index doesn't grow without you. I'll be back with...